Hey, what's up everyone? Happy Thursday. Today I want to talk to you about how to breathe when we're working out with kettlebells. Also, I want to cover how you should be breathing in between sets to help you recover a lot faster and help your body relax. So let's talk about how we breathe when we're lifting kettlebells. So with the type of kettlebell training that I teach, the hard style or Russian style, we use what's called hard style breathing. Um, what that does, it helps provide more explosive power to the quick lifts like the swing, clean, and snatch. It also provides more tension and power and keeps the abs nice and tight for the heavier, slower lifts like the overhead press um, or front squat. So I'm gonna break down how to do um, your breathing techniques during each of those two different lifts, the quick and the slow. So before you do that, you need to um, understand how to breathe using this concept before you pick up a weight. So you'll always inhale through your nose. It doesn't matter if we're doing a quick lift or a slow lift, always inhale through your nose. Just sniff in and you'll feel your belly expand a little bit. Now when we exhale, we wanna make this funny hissing sound. It sounds like this. When you do that, you should feel your abs compress. So you're taking your rib cage and you're pushing it down onto your pelvis. So you're locking in your entire midsection. So that's gonna um, engage the abs more. It's also gonna protect your spine and it's gonna help provide more strength and power. So I'm gonna show you how. So in our quick lifts, the exhale is very short and sharp and it's coordinated um, when we stand up at the top of the swing or it helps us finish the snatch and finish the clean. So <clears throat> I'm just gonna demonstrate without a kettlebell. Let's say we're doing a swing. When I hike the kettlebell, I inhale at the top. I exhale that sharp exhale. It helps provide power and it's gonna keep the abs tight to prevent you from leaning back at the top. If I'm doing a swing or a snatch, the inhale is the same and the exhale is the same as well. It's just the kettlebell is still traveling, traveling a little bit after you've exhaled. So in a clean, let's say inhale, and then the kettlebell finishes after the exhale. With the snatch, the kettlebell is still traveling well after the exhale. Now with your slower exercises, the like press and front squat, we want the breath to match the length of the exercise. So as I'm descending in a squat, I wanna inhale most of the way um, through that descent. So let's say I have a kettlebell here. Or if I'm pressing, I'm exhaling all the way through my press. Inhaling on the way down. So again, that helps keep your midsection nice and tight, which is gonna protect your back and it provide a little bit more power when you need to get that heavy bell over your head. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like with a kettlebell. So just pay attention. First, I'm gonna do a clean. So the exhale is a lot shorter, but it's still very sharp and powerful. And then I'll do a press and the exhale is gonna be a lot longer. It's gonna match um, the press as it goes overhead. So I inhale and hike. So depending on which type of exercise you're doing, the exhale is either gonna be short or it's gonna be a lot longer. Now, we're gonna take breaks during your workout. It's okay to take a break. The breathing pattern you wanna use is diaphragmatic breathing. So that means we're filling the belly with air, we're keeping the shoulders and neck relaxed. A lot of people make the mistake of breathing like this. So we wanna relax those muscles because that's very stressful and try and focus on expanding the belly on your inhale. Nice, slow, deep breaths. This is just gonna help you relax a lot faster so you can get back to whatever set of kettlebell exercises that you're doing. Now breathing is just one part of working out with kettlebells and strength training in general. You still need to understand how to contract certain muscles at certain points, um, how to set up properly for each kettlebell exercise and how to finish safely. So if you have any questions about how to do all these things and put it all together, just simply send me a message and uh, I'll get back to you and we'll work together. Stay strong.